Hi everyone, Hermano here again. In this video I'm going to have a look on how to install packages from the AUR, the Arch Linux User Repository, which is a huge community repository where you find tons of packages for Arch Linux. There are several ways on how you can install these packages. Today we are going to have a look at the Git option. So first of all, let's visit the AUR website. I'll open up here Firefox and I have this already open here. It's the aur.archlinux.org. And you can read through some infos here. It's very, very useful and very informative. And here on the right side, you have a package search search box. So you can basically search for any package you are looking for. There's a lot of them here. In this example, I just want to try to install Chrome. So I'm just going to start here typing in Google. And scrolling down the list, I see there is a Google Chrome here. So I'm just going to click on that. And here you have some info about the package. So it is very important to check if packages are up to date when you're downloading from AUR and if they are well maintained. So in this case, I see the last update was on November 6. That means this package is really up to date. And here you can see the dependencies of this package and which packages are required for. It seems to be a really well maintained package, so it's safe to download in this case. In order to download the files which will allow us to build the package, we have to get the git clone URL which is here, the first line. So I'm not going to click on this link, although if I click, you'll see there is a page not found, as this is actually a link we should paste into the terminal. So I'm just going to click back here. And instead of clicking, I'm just going to right click and copy link location. And there you go. So the next step we're going to do is open up the terminal. And I'm going to go full screen here and increase the font size so you'll see it better. We have copied the link, so what we need to do now is to type in git clone and then paste in what we copied before. We do this in the terminal by typing control shift and V and then hit enter. That went pretty fast. So I'll clean out the terminal and let's list the directories now here. As you can see, we have the usual directories here like desktop, downloads, music, and so on. And we have also a Google Chrome directory and I want to go in there. So I'll just type in CD and I type in the G and tab to autocomplete and I'll go in here and then I'm in the Google Chrome directory so I want to list this directory and as you can see one of the files is called package build pkg build this is the file that will be used to build the Google Chrome package so how do we do that well it's very simple we just type in this command make pkg space dash si and this command takes directly the package build file and hit enter. There you go. So now the package is going to be built before we can install it. So building the package might take a while here. Uh, normally for Chrome, it doesn't take more than one or two minutes, depending also on the speed of your machine. Anyway, we'll just let it roll and I'll be back when it's done. So the package is now built and I'm asked for my root password in order to install it. So I'm just going to type in my password and hit enter. And yes, I want to proceed with the installation, so I'll just hit enter. And I'll clean up the terminal and it seems to be installed. So if I look now for Chrome in the system, it should be there. And there you go, so I'll just hit enter. And here we have Google Chrome installed. Now, what about if you want to remove a package? Well, we use the same command as we would remove any package. So we'll do that by typing in sudo pacman dash capital R and the name of the package, in this case, Google dash Chrome. And hit enter. Yes, I want to remove the package. And now the package is removed. So if I try again to look for Chrome, it's not anymore there. As you can see in the files application, there is still a Google Chrome folder. That's the one we downloaded from the AUR before. And if we click in here, we can just remove this as we don't need it anymore. And that's it with this quick tip. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more, make sure that you like it by clicking the like button below and subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified of future videos. And if there's anything specific you want me to cover in Linux, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.